Today we are visiting Seal Island and this is the bridge over the Atlantic at Clacken Seal built in 1792 and at the cost of £450. It's a single arch bridge of 72 feet wide and it's steeply humped so that the vessels can go underneath it. Just over the bridge is the attractive and welcoming Tigan Truish Inn, which means House of the Trousers, because after the Jacobite Rebellion, the people were not allowed to wear kilts. So when they came here, they decided to swap their kilts for trousers. We're looking across to the island, the little island of Easdale on a most stunning morning. Elinabaich is the largest village on the island of Seal. Elinabaich's name comes from the Gaelic Island of the Birches, which is a little odd as it isn't an island and there are few signs of birches. Originally, however, much of Elinabaich was on an island just offshore from Seal. But over time, spoil from the slate quarrying that has transformed the local landscape filled in the channel which was then itself built on as the village expanded. Elena Bike is mostly made up of long lines of white, hard workers' cottages. The slate quarry that led to Elena Bike's growth was started by the Campbells of Breadlebane in 1745, and by 1842 new steam-powered pumps meant that quarrying could take place to a depth of 250 feet below sea level, in a vast pit separated from the sea by just a narrow wall of rock. At the height of the industry in the 1870s, the combined output of the quarry at Elena Bike and those on Easdale Island opposite filled 10 steamers each week. A storm in 1881 breached the wall around Eleanor Bike's quarry and it was inundated by the sea. This spelled the end of slate quarrying in Eleanor Bike and the several hundred jobs it provided. This is Easdale Island. It took three minutes on a little ferry from Eleanor Bike to come here and it was once home of the slate quarrying industry. 450 people used to live on this island at the height of its production. Now there are 50 and they are involved in anything from catering to website design. There are no roads on the island but a footpath which goes through the main square, round the harbour and to the west of the island where some of the finest scenery in Argyll can be seen. Everywhere we look are the remains of the slate industry and Easdale was said to have roofed the world but we know there are other places that claim that as well. It's so different here to being up in North Wales at Blyneye Festiniog with the enormous slate quarries there. Of course we're here on a bright sunny day but even so it's a very different surroundings. This area was used as gardens by the workers, most of them completely overgrown, except for this little patch here. This is the former windmill quarry, possibly the most productive quarry at the time, and named for its method of pumping. <laughs> 